Well, San Francisco has made history, appointing the first drug laureate in the country. And Darcy Drolger is the new ambassador for the city's drag and LGBTQ community. She joins us this morning live in studio. Congratulations, Darcy. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Of course, you look fabulous. Thank you. Very jealous of all the sparkles. Everyone knows I love my sparkles, so you look pretty good. I wish <laughs> my, I job. my job. My job is I had a sparkle. You're showing me up right now, Darcy. <laughs> but you're a well-known performer. You're an advocate for the drag community and the owner of Oasis Nightclub, too, in the South of Market neighborhood. So tell us a little bit about what it's like being in this role now. It's been a few weeks now. It, it has been a whirlwind for sure. I mean, yeah. I was not expecting it to um, go so viral yeah. and all over the world, um, but it did. And mm -hmm. it's exciting and a little bit daunting because mm -hmm. being the first one, I've got a lot of responsibility, but I'm yeah. also excited to be able to carve out what the role could be. You're really setting the stage for what this could be yes. for years and years and also in other cities too. Yes, I, I think actually, I mean, I would love, I would love this to go across the country or around the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like the drag community brings so much. Mm -hmm. like let us be part of the conversation. It's a very exciting thing, and I love that San Francisco was the first to do this, even before all the rhetoric was going around the country. Yeah, so how has the community been dealing with this? Obviously, there's been a lot of attention on the trans community and um, just so much going on in the press. So how's the drag community taking it? I mean, it's hard because it, you know, it may not be affecting us immediately here, mm -hmm. but we're seeing it all over the country and slowly seeping in. Mm -hmm. And I think, A, it's like, We've got to fight back and we've yeah. got to nip it in the bud. And we've also got to show the rest of the country and all the other mm -hmm. drag performers and, and um, folks in places like Tennessee that look like we're, we've got you, we're here. And I think also we spend a lot of time fighting, but we got to remember what we're fighting for. We're entertainers, so mm -hmm. we're fighting to be able to do that. So we shouldn't just spend all our time fighting. We should spend some time entertaining. And don't, don't forget that's what we're here to do. Absolutely. So tell me what some of your goals are as we're seeing all these communities across the country actually banning drag performances, sure. because that's what you do. You're here to entertain, as you said. Now places are saying, uh-uh. Yeah, no, it's it, it's really crazy. I mean, drag has been something that's been going on for hundreds of years, mm -hmm. right? And so suddenly it's become this hot button topic. But I think if people could just see that we are here to spark and we are here to entertain like we have been for so long, mm -hmm. Uh, I think they'll realize that it, it is not a scary thing. It is not a dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. It's a fabulous thing. I mean, look at me. I got a bunch of makeup on my face. and oh, you look great. Put a red nose on me, and I'm a clown. <laughs> you know what I mean? But seriously, <laughs> clowns have been there. Very beautiful. Forever. Beautiful clown at that. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you, darling. Of course. So 18-month appointment. Yes. What's your biggest goal in all of this? Well, you know, first of all, I want to really be able to represent the LGBTQ plus community mm -hmm. here in San Francisco and, and really everywhere. Mm -hmm. I want to work with city agencies and really you know, build bridges. Also, I'm a business owner, mm -hmm. so work with businesses, work yeah. with nightlife. Um, in a way, I feel like I'm, I'm the LGBTQ mayor of San Francisco yeah. in a sense that where I, I am representing my people. I also yeah. really want to continue to elevate and cultivate the art of drag because it mm -hmm. is a beautiful art form and a fabulous art form. Yeah. And, I, you know, I see all these young kids creating such amazing art using yeah. drag. And, like, that should be celebrated, mm -hmm. you know, not feared and not try to squash it. Like, yeah. it's it, there's a lot of great stuff happening at Oasis, my club, but all over the city. All over. And I think people should, I mean, this is the time also for our allies to show up, mm -hmm. show up to the drag shows, support the drag community, yes. um, tip a drag queen, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I think it's it's important for everybody to uh, rally Absolutely. around us. And and we do a lot for the community in you San really Francisco, with, you know, not only just in politics, but fundraising mm -hmm. and a lot of other things aside from sparkling. Yeah, Darcy, you're an inspiration to a lot of people and representing a lot of people here in San Francisco. Good luck with thank your you. next 18 months. And uh, thanks so much for your time. We I, appreciate it. it thank you for having me.